Oh, shit. Sorry if I blinded That's you. That's all right. Well, we're going to have to deal with it. We're going to oh, have to I'm deal with it. The bright lights, you get used to it. Yeah, you do. <laughs> After a while, your pupils dilate. What is up, everyone? How is everybody doing? Today, I am here with Steven. And he What's is up? the main guy from Archive of the Afterlife. Sir. Sure. <laughs> He's actually going to give me access uh, to explore the Haunted Museum with you guys alone inside this place. All by yourself. <laughs> All by myself. He's going to lock us in. Guys, you could also check out this place too for yourself. He actually, you could actually just come up right up and explore it. Um, super nice guy. <laughs> super nice. It's kind of like, uh, hold on, we have uh, someone with a uh, really noisy truck. <laughs> <laughs> At least he held off a little. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> but let's get into it. <laughs> so yeah, um, Archive of the Afterlife. We're here in Mountain West Virginia. Easiest way to get the information on that is just go to the Facebook page, Archive of the Afterlife, and uh, uh, the website's there, all the information's there, the hours are there. Uh, we'll get, get to that later. We need to get him inside. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> but you guys have to check this place yes. out. We're in, oh, Jesus, I almost said Tennessee. Moundsville, West Virginia. Moundsville, West Virginia. Something else to note about this place is that this place actually has an Indian burial ground. It's like five minutes this way. The biggest in the United States, right? Right, and just across the street from it is the former West Virginia State Penitentiary. <laughs> so, I mean... <laughs> I'm trying to see if I could get him to do one with me. <laughs> I'm going to have to, man. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock you in all by yourself. Okay. That's, and I'm accustomed to that. Cool. <laughs> Turn this light around. I've already uh, left the two museum rooms open for you, turned a few accent lights on for you. Um, all the doors that are available to anybody and everybody on the night tours are unlocked. The ones that are locked, they're private businesses, so we had to leave them locked. Sounds perfect, man. Sounds um, perfect. And the back door of the gymnasium in the back hallway is open for Is you. open? Yep. Cool. Good to go. Um, we'll be exploring everything. Um, I get the, oh, yeah. Here. There we did this go. Did swap spots with you? Oh, yeah. There we go. There we are. <laughs> Thanks, right. man. I'm going to lock the door right now. <laughs> Hey, I appreciate it, man. Hey, Thank you so luck. much. I'll be out here whenever, uh, whenever, you're, whenever you're ready. All right. Thanks, man. Have a good one. And that is that. What is up, everyone? How is life going? Um, sorry, I'm a little bit late. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get everything set up. I have my equipment upstairs in the most, this place is actually really cool. I didn't even know it existed until I found it. Um, that's <laughs> yeah, if you guys could like it, it would definitely help. Lockdown time. <laughs> Ooh, spirits come to play. So basically, I'm going to have interactions with you guys too while I'm doing this. But at the same time, I'm also going to want to do a paranormal exploration here, seeing what I can get. So I might get a little bit quiet. I might not read all the comments. Um, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> I gotta, I'm got actually confused how I got back upstairs. I have all my equipment inside. So let's go ahead and... Get into it. Now, probably gonna start looking behind me now anyway. And my flashlights are with my laptop. There we go. Uh, let's turn this around. Perfect. But I missed you guys. Haven't seen you guys in forever. Go to Waverly. I am dying to go to Waverly. Now, this is actually a huge school. Uh, the room is upstairs, but the whole school is also haunted as well. And I think I actually have access to the gymnasium to, hey, Canadian gal, let's do this. Love you, Frank. You'll be safe, brother. Thank you, Sean. Doesn't already set the mood. This lights are. What is up with me finding places with blinking lights? Um, I gotta find the staircase. Actually, really do need to find the staircase because that you guys are going to flip out when you see what's upstairs. 
They probably are following me. Studio. I'm actually super excited right now. You're amazing, Franco Love from the UK. Thank you, Barbara. I appreciate that. Yeah, was Barbara in a second video. It was off the hook screaming kids. I actually want to go back to Hell's Bar Dam. There we go. I actually want to go back to Hell's Bar Dam. Right over here. Found it. Thank you, everyone, for your donation. It helps everything. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. That's why I'm trying to give you guys the best out there if I can. Well, I'm trying. Okay. I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see this. Oh, you guys are going to love this. Oh, cool. There you go, room 202. All right, there's two rooms here for this museum. Hey, Jacqueline, I appreciate that. This one is where I'm gonna actually have my spirit box session and a lot of the other cool stuff is gonna happen here. I'm actually charging my laptop right now, too. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Oh, by the way, this is the place. Archive of the Afterlife, Paranormal Museum and Research, Art Gallery and Walk-In Glass Shop. Here we go. So first off, you have a lot of the post-mortem photography here. Here, let me see. Maybe you guys can see without it. Oh, sorry. I'll turn on a little bit here so that way you guys can see. There we go. This is Annie. The woman in the portrait we know was Annie. Conduit was found and collected at the local antique store. In Wheeling, WV, um, frequent visits to the upper more shop. All right, so pretty much everything in this place has either a, a charge or spiritual attachment, or uh, is also used as a trigger to help trigger a lot of the uh, paranormal phenomena that happen in this place. If you guys want this room dark, just let me know. I could turn off lights. Hey, Bridget. Hey, Frank. My family is all here watching with me tonight. Stay safe and thank you. Thank you, Bridget. Ben Bing watching your videos all day. Be safe. Thanks, Williams. I hope you like them. They're not easy to make. <laughs> that is creepy. Oh my God. But look down here. You guys want it dark? All right. So then before I start my explore, let's turn everything off then. Not everything, but what I can't oh my god this by far is one of the creepy ones to me I think I actually have that in the thumbnail how do I turn that one off oh wow it's creepy but it's also beautiful and I think this one what gets me is the eyes that was me I just moved the chair this is John's Dillinger face or his face mask Get that B off the screen. Oh, wow, they have a pendulum. Louisiana Catherine Fox grave. So this is soil from different grave sites. And animals. Are animals getting bloody lair made? It's continuous and always happy. Thank you, Robin. I appreciate that. 
Um, thanks for, thanks for all you do for us. Frank wrote an article about you. Lots of love. Oh, thank you, Danny. I appreciate that. You didn't have to. Historical sod and collection. And these are helmets with bullet holes. So I guess soldiers that passed away. These are actually bullet hole fragments that went into the. Oh wow! Look at that one. Hey Jess, how are you? Lisa, <laughs> thank you, Lisa. Whoa. Garmin helmet. These helmets were the retrieved from the area of Saladus, the near front of World War II by Mars. I'll read it to you guys by Mars St. Jade. Pocket was a group of German forces on the Carlin, Pennsylvania uh, Peninsula that had been cut off by the Soviet forces till the end of the war 10, 1945. It is estimated that 117,871 Germans were killed during this time. Added to confirmed that the two owners of these war ridge helmets did not survive the war. Wow, so even the guy that had these helmets that was given here didn't even survive this. Oh, that's a mortar. I remember that. Oh, is that the mortar in the back? That is so cool. Robert Held. Hey, Shape, what's going on, man? Long time no see. Much love and respect from the Cincinnati, Ohio brothers. I don't even know if I'm allowed back here. Holy crap, that creeped me out. Oh, oh that is so cool. Not, not the poster I was talking about this. Is that really? Oh my god, that is. Marilyn's ghost. Hey Frank, can you shout me out? Gif uh, Kate, she turned 24. Um, is a huge fan. We both love your, of course I got you, Andrew. Um, Shout out to you, Kate. <laughs> Thank you for watching and being a fan. That is insane. Hi, Mom. <laughs> That's Marilyn Monroe. Died in Cincinnati. There is. I think her actual gravesite is in L.A. I think, and like a famous person graveyard. I believe you could even see the kiss marks from everybody that gave kisses to her. Her tomb. Heath Ledger. Oh, that's how Heath Ledger looked. She was murdered? I didn't even know she was murdered. I thought she... Well, I'm not going to speak on something I don't know too much about, but I don't, I don't... I didn't know she was murdered. Look at that. George. Oh, God, they even have Abraham's Lincoln. Oh, Indian. Thank you, Linda. All right. Let's head over here because it gets more creepy. This is like the war area here. And they get some celebrities. I'm just still staring at some stuff in here. Now, I haven't really gave this, but I've, I've been in here before. I just haven't really looked at uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, Ouija boards. My mom loves Ouija boards, don't you, Maggie? No, I'm just kidding. She doesn't like this stuff. <laughs> or was supposedly killed by the Kennedys. Holy shit. See, I didn't know that, Shape. I, had, I thought she was a drug overdose. Wanted to give you another donation for your hard work. Please consider investigating Emily's Bridge on Stowey, Vermont, very haunted. All those comments, as far as locations, are being heard. Trust me. And thank you, Tiffany, I appreciate that. Um, I really appreciate that, Tiff. No. <laughs> You're amazing, marry me, Franco, <laughs> love you. Allegedly murdered. See, and I, 
I'm pretty sure that's what happened with the Epstein guy. I know I, there was a big rumor saying that he was uh, by the Clintons. That guy was crazy. Okay, so what the guy told me about this one was that this one was actually donated by a witch. Um, uh, yeah, that was donated by a witch, and apparently it had some sort of possession or connection to it or something, and, and it was donated here, which made its way into uh, this room full of amazing artifacts. All right, let's keep moving up here. Oh, by the way, this is a embalming table. This is where they actually put the body and they lay the body up here as the blood would go into these little drains area here and will kind of go down into there. And if you look, sometimes they have, <laughs> it looks like hair on the inside. See if I could point it in the bottom. You see that? Ew. And if that's hair, usually they open up the scalp and yeah, they do a lot of stuff. You guys could check that out if you guys want to get further into that. But that is an embalming table. Oh, there it is right here, embalming table. Constructed in Tasman. This is actually a used embalming table too. There's actually another one in the other room that I'm going to show you guys. Mo Dogum. Hey, thanks, man. Keep it up. Your boy is awesome, Maggie. I have a lot to learn. Is there a ghost? Yes, this place is haunted. And I'm going to also be doing a very uh, thorough investigation at night too with you guys. As, far, as long as the phone could last me. Oh, okay, so this is post-mortem. If we have time to do this investigation, because there's just so much stuff here. Now, letting you guys know, this is post-mortem, so these are pictures of people that are deceased. Just letting you guys watch. But look at this. I'm a very big thing with uh, when it comes to old photography or vintage photography. <laughs> yes, I have a Patreon, Linda. Um, I believe it's, uh, Jesus, I think probably Franco TV Adventures, I think. But yeah, I do have a Patreon, Linda. Look at that. There we go. Sorry. This phone seems to act up every time I do a live stream. Let me turn this back around. That should work now. Thank you. Oh, that is so crazy. Fan of yours. And I believe this casket, please do not touch any of the artifacts in this event. Okay, not touching anything. But there's a casket that looks just like this in the other room that we are gonna check out. Those reviews that are new, I'm actually checking out a haunted uh, archive museum or a paranormal archive museum um, that apparently a lot of haunted stuff is here. Whoa. There's even a doll in here that I want to show you guys that actually moves on its own um, if you're lucky enough to catch it. Delia, I got you, Omar. Uh, Delia, shout out to you. Or Delilia. Delila. Delila. Shout out to you, Delila. I hope I got it right. Let me know if I uh, destroyed it. I hope I didn't. Oh, look at that. That would be a really good uh, B roll. All right, now let's get into the dolls, which are creepy. So this is a chanting idol. This artifact has been donated by an archive by co-founder of Big Country Paranormal Carry. They, um, after the personality holds this item, okay, after personally holding this item uh, and prior to the item's information being help, told to me, I felt a sensation of an odd river, uh, God, river, variation I, I don't know if I said that word right river variation and could sense 
the rhythm of what seemed like a drum. It's curious. I want to hold it, but I'm not going to. I can't touch anything. But that is tempting. Um, Sylvia, hey, can you give my dad, Ray Perez, Father's Day? <laughs> Happy Father's Day, Ray Perez. The live stream, awesome. Thank you. Oh, wow. I don't know if I got this one. Okay, so if you guys see here, I'm going to show you guys something cool. Maybe you guys don't need the light. Oh, there we go. If you look here, you see that? And you see this? Those two items are right there. I'm not sure who that is, though. Let's see. Postmortem Catholic Metal and Crucifix. This grouping was a purchase by Mark and sits at the clean out directed from estate managers and unfortunately no other information was included. Not gonna lie, I get that feeling like you're being watched. Maybe it's that guy like right over there. The Exorcism Cross. Oh, Stephen would love this. St I don't know if you guys know that, but Stephen, uh, actually the tour guide from the the dam, he's actually an exorcist, an exorcism, I believe. And this cross was collected from a demonologist and paranormal investigator, Antonio Gum. His report is follows: This cross from the source has been acquired from a private residence in Mendelothian. MD gum stated by the cross was removed from a home's bedroom from a witch. A successful exorcism uh, was conducted for a young boy. It was reported that it took four attempts to be successful. Oh my god. And that is one of the pictures here. That is a creepy doll, eh? Look at that. Mom, you gotta start drawing stuff like this. I would totally be down. Oh, I'm not touching anything. But I would totally be down if you start drawing stuff like this. Oh, and if you guys haven't, check out my mom's channel, uh, Curious Maggie TV. She's awesome. That's my madre. It's inspired from India. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that, Priya. Um, lead paint doll. Is that what it was? A lead paint? Vicky Mar Madriano. Thank, oh, thank you, Vicky. I appreciate that. You should have wrote a message. Um, let me make sure I didn't. All right, let's go back. Oh, all right, some more. Po oh, my God, you guys are going to love this. All right, first, I'm going to start with boom. <clears throat> oh, wow. Those people look familiar. Now remember, there's going to be a lot of prison stuff here, only because that there's the huge prison here uh, for West Virginia, and it's actually right across the street. That's one of the prisons that I actually want to explore. However, um, yeah, that's one of the prisons I want to explore, but it's severely expensive. But it's one of the places I'm definitely looking into um, being able to do that. But a lot of the prison stuff that comes from these prisons, like West Virginia State Penitentiary, this is the actual execution cap used to, uh, I guess, cause the, I got to be careful what I say because YouTube is very strict, causes the prisoners to pass away, <laughs> I guess. But um, this is actually the execution cap. And the only thing that this execution cap reminds me of that you're about to see is a gentleman with a very catchy phrase that goes something like this. Hello, Clarice. I'm sorry, but every time I see this thing, I think of Hannibal Lecter. What does he covet, Clarice? That guy was, like, his accent and how he portrayed that character was amazing. What does he covet? What does he want, Clarice? See, that's it right there on the prison chair. Probably do that with the accent. That is the very peculiar question, Clarice. Is that that is the cap right there sitting on the chair all by itself next to this security officer a guardsman as i slowly drifted into the other world and these are some more patients again uh graphic picture oh not too well this is just old photography but just letting you guys know that 
is so cool. And here are some of the weapons. <laughs> we use a beautiful knife. Or you know what else it could also be? It's like it puts the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. That is awesome. We even have a prison gate. I almost touched it. I almost got tempted. Don't touch anything, Frank. West Virginia State Penitentiary. This is a place I'm... <laughs> I am so tempted on going here. I want to show you guys this. I know I can make an amazing video. In fact, this is actually inside the walls. It's actually, I, in fact, if you guys don't know, if you guys are on my Instagram, um, I actually took a video outside the state penitentiary. Right outside these walls is an ancient Indian burial ground, the largest in the country. That's actually right outside. But uh, let me see what else. See, that's it right over here. Holy shit. I legit know I just heard movement. Thank you, I missed my first super chat. I'm so sorry. Um, again, if you guys are super chatting, do know that I am actually doing a current investigation. So I might not be seeing it just like right now. I almost missed it. Frank, can you please give me a shout out to my sister, Anna Lulina, El Paso, Texas. Definitely. Guys, I'm going to start focusing on the investigation now. Just giving you a heads up. I literally felt like somebody just walked into the room. And that head does not make it any more better. That is terrifying. Jesus Christ, that's terrifying. This reminds me of the Annabelle doll. Oh, shit. What do you think of that? I can smell you, Clarius. You're getting closer. Oh my god. That is terrifying. Mom, you should actually start collecting stuff. Hell no. To the nun. Oh, this reminds me of like some Fatal Frame thing. And those of you who gave me comments about playing Fatal Frame, I commend you. That is amazing. That game is one of by far the best games ever. How do you work in an office like this? What is that? Fragment display of a plate or bow used in f to feed the children. <laughs> Am I missing anything else here before we move on outside? I'm actually kind of dreading going outside, but I did hear something come from the front door. And, uh... Any... Time reports of mysterious... Oh, wow, look, there it is. So I gotta look for these comments right here. Over time, reports of the mysterious activity um, and compelling paranormal evidence has been sensed and documented for this picture. see why she's got those you guys ever seen jaws where <laughs> thank shape you guys ever seen jaws where the captain of the ship is like the eyes were like a doll's eyes dead or something like that he was they're like a doll's eyes I don't know he said something like that I'll give you the whole damn thing all right I'm about to make my way to the other room and uh, let's actually start by turning off some lights in here because I am going to come back into this room. There's got to be a cable here. I feel like I'm... Wow, there is so much stuff in here. Um, I don't want to touch anything. If I can't turn it off, then I'm just going to leave that on. Um, Bill Wand. Hey, amigo. 
You rode through Pittsburgh without saying hello. Really wanted to take you to the actual silence of the Lambs house in Washington. Oh, that's awesome, Bill. I'm sorry. Bill, I have so many things already planned, man. I, I, I am a very busy bee right now. Once I get all these things done for this June, month of June, um, things will get a little bit quiet. I should start settling in a little bit. Uh, let's make our way outside. So you guys can see how dark it is. We're coming to get you, Sarah. Oh, no, no, no. It was, we're coming to get you, Barbara. <laughs> Just for the hell of it, keep up the great work. Thank you, Kelly. I appreciate it. And thanks, Shape, <laughs> for the drinks. <laughs> All right. Here, I'll go in first with the lights off. Oh, this is terrifying. Just because I know what's in there. <sighs> Those look like eyes. All right, hold on. Just a little bit light for security. Just to know where to walk to. Yep, I see the casket. I did not even know there was a chair back there. All right. Do it. Do it, Georgie. Do it, Georgie. Oh, fuck, no. <laughs> I don't know why. Why am I fucking scared? I can do this for a freaking living. Get in the room. Get in the freaking room. Go dark. Go dark. God, I am sensing like a freaking presence and I have. It feels so tight like somebody's standing there. I'm going to walk into it. Let's do it. I'm going to have to keep the light on just for a second. All right, going in. Think of happy thoughts. Think of, think of mom. Mom, I'm thinking that's a candle. Oh, I'm going in. All right. I'm in. Well, I don't know why, but I've never felt a feeling like that. All right, going dark. You guys can't see. That's the doll that moves. Okay, I'm keeping the lights on. So that way you guys can kind of see. This is actually an excuse, but so you guys can actually see the place. This is some of my equipment here that I'm going to be using, uh, including the spirit box. Um, have mercy upon my soul. And going to go watch Curious Maggie TV. Be careful. <laughs> Thanks, Shape. I appreciate that. <laughs> Shape is pretty cool. He's one of my friends of mine. All right. Okay, so um, let's get into this. Do you guys know? All right, I'm trying to change the subject. Look how creepy these photos are. I haven't even gotten halfway into this room yet. Look at that. Yeah, you don't like those dolls. I don't like those dolls. Look at that. I feel like the curtain's even moving. And if you look there, I don't know if you guys can see it just yet, but that's the doll that apparently moves. Can you guys see her? Oh, shit. I just got movement. Can I close the door? I feel more safer with this door closed. As weird as that sounds. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Stay close. the creepy doll. And I hear movement. Yeah, I feel... Oh, God, I feel weird. Damn, that is about the first time I've actually chickened out. Okay, going dark. I'm back in it. I heard movement and I'm seeing movement. If you look at those things, it's moving. But that could just be airflow. 
I'm hoping that's airflow. But if I see some, I've seen this happen before. I think in one of the graveyards, it moved like it brushed open and it moved. Um, God, how the hell do I do a spirit box in here? Usually it's a lot more subtle, but this is very strong. Hey, Frank, how are you, Ashley? All right, let's go. I, I don't know if it's the pictures or if it's a psychological thing. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to save that doll for last because that doll moves. But if that moves out of there. By the way, what you're seeing here in the table, that long white thing, that's another uh, um, embalmed table. Oh, right. I keep feeling like there's something watching me. Now, let's talk about something more peaceful like the caskets here. Now, this casket here is actually called, um, it's like a breathing castle uh, casket. She's staring at me. You're freaking staring at me. Let me just explain the casket, and then I'll turn around. We could do the ghost stuff. Whoever's in this room with me right now, just let me just look at the casket and talk about the casket real quick, just so they could be informed. I hate curtains like that. Yeah, you're telling me. You should have seen. Wait until you see the video that I have. I went into another morgue. Um, all right. Be careful. El Kukai. <laughs> Yeah, tell me about it. All right. I feel like something's touching the back of my head. Um, and it's not. I don't know what it is. All right, so I'm going back into it. So this casket is a, maybe it says it here, uh, 18 civil. Thank you, uh, Merlou, fist bump. <laughs> I got you. Um, cooling castle. Okay. So this is a cooling castle. Basically, back in the day, this is a very old uh, casket that they would bury somebody in but before they wouldn't even bury them in here they will put them in here until the ceremony where the funeral will take in place and that is a creepy child um and so basically it's a breathable casket so in case the person wakes up because sometimes they weren't uh fully deceased they weren't fully deceased this will be the breathe away casket so that way they could uh imagine she just waves at you i'm actually keeping an eye on her as much as I can. I see you, you little shit. All right, so, um, yeah, that's it. Yep, you see, I heard it again. Do you guys want me to, I'm not touching anything. Frank, your mom said don't touch. Mom, I'm a grown-ass man, woman. <laughs> I'm just, I'm nervous. Okay. So, yeah, and then over here is another casket. This was actually used, I believe. Uh, funeral attire. Funeral um, attire. I'm going to get closer. It's not normally recommended that very young children attend funerals unless they are members of the immediate family. Still, they are certainly nothing wrong with the choosing to take care, um, choosing to take care to take them along. If you are dressing the children for a funeral, their dress code is a little, why am I hearing noises? All right, it's a distraction, Frank, you got this. Um, funeral dress code, and there's a skull in there, so if you guys can see it, uh, I'll, I'll keep reading. Try to avoid overly cuticizing or dressing or faddish. Uh... For understands of the classic okay so yeah that was that this is another a prayer altar but this is actually a casket for the little ones children and as you can see there is a postmortem photo within the inside of it yeah you guys probably are gonna hear stuff too I also do have a EVP recorder Whoa, buddy. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Jesus. I freaked myself out. I, I moved the camera, and you see the shadow behind the, underneath the, the, the table? I thought that was a little, I thought that was a little freaking doll over there. I'm going to keep my eyes on you, girl. <laughs> All right. So, right now, I just got. I'm getting a really, really, really cold, 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 cold thing on my right arm. Oh, look at this. I don't know. 
If you guys can see. I can't freaking concentrate. Why is this room scarier than the other room? another embalming there's a lot of embalming this stay right there don't look at me like that all right so this is uh is that really what that's a wear and i think that wear there is to weigh the dead okay so here is where is it embalming this is this has a significant story to it as soon as i could find where i saw it at Jesus, come on. I don't know what's going on with me today. Battle Greek Sanatorium. Okay, so this is a bedpost from a sanatorium, but there was something else he said that I missed it. Um, Steven? Steven's actually the guy that actually gave me access to this building. Um, if you're in the chats, if you could quickly if you're there briefly write what this was about um so that way I, they don't miss out you're a bit more sensitive today frank i love it you're checking you're cracking me up <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm i'm a little nervous today i keep hearing movement around me let's go check out the doll i'm also looking at the pictures i'm sorry Apparently all these pictures had some sort of haunting attachment to it. That's actually pretty cool. That actually reminds me of Joe Pesci for some reason. Oh, not Joe Pesci, that other guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a whole fleet of them. Alright, let's get up close and personal. That one has black eyes, I think. Hello, darling. You are quite the one today. Now, apparently people witnessed her, uh, her moving her arms. And apparently, uh, um, Stephen has a video footage or something like that of this girl's arm moving. You ran into Penhurst and you, you're scared here. Listen, there's a lot that happened at Penhurst that did not show up on camera, okay? That's the that's the beautiful light of editing. <laughs> there's been times where I've screamed, okay? But I'm not going to post that shit online. So, <laughs> I might scream today, though. What is that? Oh, my God. I feel like she's going to run at me and just freaking bear hug me. Oh, my God. Yep. Okay, cool. Listen, I, I just come in peace. I'm only doing an investigation. We're just exploring. Just a simple, innocent traveler, a merchant, if you will. I don't mean anything wrong. I'm seriously just looking around. I think I feel like claustrophobic here for some reason. And I've been into that dam, uh, the Hell's Bar. But this one is weird. And what throws me off is that my brain is messing with me because I keep thinking I'm seeing shadows behind those curtains. And I'm thinking of the nun. I want to go up to these children, but I don't trust here. No, she probably won't like that. I'm not always going to close the door, but I'm not, I can't do that. Here, I'm going to turn this on temporarily so you guys can see. Some people, as far back as we know, have been 
weary of reflective surfaces, many legends in Forco have included many reports of mirrors obtaining strange quality magic or even being haunted in <laughs> so for thank you Kevin I appreciate that brother um I really appreciate that Kevin you didn't have to um mirrors have ability to suck out souls to avoid this happening mirrors were removed from a room when an ill or dying person lay the reason being they were thought to be more vulnerable to get negative um to get negative power of a mirror people were warned to never look into a mirror at night and be a candlelight if you did you will be certain to see ghosts demons and protons of death even your own um, when people when a person died in a room the mirrors had to be covered or turned or face okay why does that have okay I get it there's mirrors in here hey uh, Canadian gal thank you so much huh? I appreciate that you didn't have to something was in the mirror woman really what do you guys see in the mirror I'm gonna turn off the lights here between me and the background Okay, that light flickering freaks me out because I thought she was moving and waving in front of the light. Don't you dare move. I haven't forgotten about you guys. Alright, focus. Focus, Frank. Another postmortem. That one is so creepy. That's a scary aspect. Is she really deceased? She looks like a vampire. Ouch. All right. The mirror was acquired from a shop directly across the street from, I'm guessing they're talking about, I don't know what mirror they're talking, probably this one. Uh, this mirror was acquired direct from a shop. Um, that's an Andal. Annie or whatever um, from the shop directly across the street from the archive it had been displayed for sale in front of the shop for a few days until it was sent since it was sensed to have moved or have a skeptical or the archive volunteer Victoria John and I and the archive picture represented the owner Steve and another and um, no ever since the mirror has been included uh, ever since the mirror has been included with the archive, there has been random cold spots. That's what I was feeling a couple minutes ago. Um, various entities, and that has been sensed within the area in front of the mirror. This is it. this cold spot has never been reported prior to the arrival of m the mirrors. Well, I'll be damned. It's not. Oh, thank you, Breezy. I appreciate that. I like your picture too, the pitchforkman mask. I, I actually have one at my at my house somewhere. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. I follow you because you're very humble. Plus, uh, go on as <laughs> to be doing this on your own. Stay safe and humble. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Um, all right. Hi, Franco. Hi, Haunted Pineapple. Oh. All right. Let's move forward out of here. Betty, there was a face around the mirror, Franco. Um, all right, let's look at the mirror. All right, I am, if I turned everything off, you guys probably won't see everything. Let's do this mirror, let's do this mirror. I think this is the right mirror. Here, okay. Holy hell. Sorry, Tim, I hope you feel better. I got a screenshot. All right, send me the screenshot if you can. All right. Oh, buddy, that still freaks me out to this day, just seeing that. Behind you, mirror. Behind me, mirror. Oh, this mirror. This mirror is super dirty. 
or like not dirty, but it's uh, this is bad omen, isn't it? Um, shout out Tracker Dust the YouTube. Um, I send you the screenshot. I just, thank you, uh, Frank. Please, can you read my message? I read it. Wasn't a face curtain is swaying. I know I saw the curtain swaying too. I'm trying not to think about it. Is there an AC or something blowing to make those crack? The AC's over there, so it's actually blowing over here into this area. This area over here, I don't feel anything. And it moved again. The thing is that I hear movement. Probably keep the camera still. Woman's face in the mirror. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually use the the EVP and seeing how I can, what we can catch. I feel a little bit better now that I'm actually walking away from that area. Okay, so let me attach this up here. Yeah, that doll freaked me out for some reason. Because the guy was telling me that she's known to move, and, and that stuck in my head the most. Um, all right. I'll try something a little bit interesting here. Can you tell me your name? I heard you were known to move. Can you move? I hope you said something. Wear a camera on the back of back and do a split screen. <laughs> Guys, this is a live stream. I can't do a back. I can't do that. Right. Marco. How many of you are here with me? Are here with me. 
there was a voice when Dan Franco TV on same time UFC has an event. I oh I see I don't I don't watch uh, too much sports. I'm sorry. All right. Let's uh let's use the boot box. Um, how do I do this? I have to set this up. Um, all right. All right, let's do this. What's weird is that this room actually feels a little bit. Maybe it's the lighting. I think it's the lighting. All right. Please. All right. Let's get the boot box set up. Um. Question. Do you guys want to do the boot box in this room, or would you like to do it in the other room? Preferably, I would pick the scariest as the other room. But what do you guys? What? Hi Frank. Hi drunk ghost. How big? It's it's actually a huge school uh, that I have complete to myself. We're gonna go adventuring later. Um, does Frank will have a team at all? No, just me. I'm a lone wolf. Other room. All right, good. I like that idea. Other room is way much better. this door. That is freaking retarded. That's look at this. Hello, Frank. Stay safe. Thanks. All right. Um, let's put this here. Your footsteps are running. I'm probably gonna lose it. All right, this is right here. For us. Here, I'm having the camera here just in case you guys see anything from behind me. Uh, I keep feeling like that little girl's gonna come running out.
what's behind me is a uh, an embalming table a girl that apparently is known to move um, and a whole bunch of haunted stuff is is, is most pretty much behind me right now uh, currents are moving let me just get this thing set before you before you come and get me, Louis. Franco. There we go. Um, oh, let me turn this on. Holy shit. Hold on. We're gonna talk soon. I promise. I just keep saying. <laughs> um freaking seeing stuff that's me that's me what you're hearing is me i'm actually trying to set up the boot box right now here and I shall put this after light there we go all right stop it come on be nice be nice Super bright. I'm gonna turn this this way. All right. All right. I'm gonna have my back turned. But this is creepy. That was creepy. All right. Let's put this this way. Put that there, there, there. Let's move this over here. Alright guys, here goes nothing.
if you guys are seeing something behind the curtains, I'm about to get started with the... There we go. Is that better? Oh my god. It's so weird because I keep hearing movement coming from that area. Is that better for the rest of the room? If you want, I could move these curtains to the side. Yes? All right, let's move it to the side a little bit. Just a little bit, not too much. spirit box right here with me and <clears throat> um, do you guys remember a name that we saw in this room First time watching a live investigation. Hey Amanda, welcome into your first live. I'm I'm Frank. Hi. All right, here we goes. Oh yeah. So, in case you guys don't know, this is the boo box here. I have it right here. I just have the, the light properly set so you guys can see the whole room. Um, if you guys want me to turn off the lights, let me know. Hola. Leave the light on. All right, hold on. I gotta get this thing. Hello? I'm Frank. I'm the guy that's in this room right now. Um, I'm hearing a lot of movement coming from the room. Is it okay that I could be in here recording, asking you questions? I, I'm just learning. Lights off. Oh no, I'm not doing the flashing. Oh my god, really? You guys gonna have me do this with the lights off? Alright, I'm gonna be looking behind me the whole time. Can you hear me? From the view of the curtains, it's. Oh man, this is this is. Come on, hold on. I'm only having the light on, uh, only because I'm trying to get this thing to work. Hello. Can you hear me? 
They might get loud depending on how the, how loud they talk. Thank yeah. you. See? I just got to yell. Uh, thank you, Mike. Marching life. Anthony. <laughs> All right, I'm turning off the lights now. That's my flashlight. Um, can I ask you what your name is? I can have the lights off, but want to see the phenomenal. All right, cool. So then we're going to keep the lights on then. So that way you guys can see. I'm going to have it just slightly dimmed. There we go. If I had a night vision where you guys could see with me, it would be good. Um, is that good? Are you guys okay with that? Can you move the curtains for me? You guys are gonna have to come a little closer. So you let's keep the curtains closed. Can you tell me your name? I got a Rick. I don't know if it just said, are they dead or something like that? I'm, I probably am. Can you, can you tell me what year it is? What year is it? Oh. oh my god, I got movement again. Towards the other casket over here. You guys got 1946? Check the doll. Yeah, I'm looking at her. The doll's still back there. Do you guys like this room? so much Sherry he is dead I just got he is dead again the closet what's going on in the closet I'm gonna leave the boo box on oh. uh. 
that movement. Hold on. Jesus Christ. All right, let's uh down a little bit for you guys. I'm sorry if that was loud. Still too loud. Hold on, I'm adjusting it. Can you say something now so I can hear you? All right. 1918, World War One. Can you tell me what year it is one more time? I'm sorry. So I, I want to make sure I get the right year. Thank you so much. My K2 is still redlining. What items are you attached to? Can you tell me about Germany? <laughs> Ask if they can see you and where are they? All right. Bring up the volume here just a little bit. Can you see me and where are you? I'm going to use my other light. He's fine. He's fine. Who's fine? Sorry, that is super loud. I got to lower that down just a little bit. Thing straight. Time's up. There we go. Can I ask how many of you are here with me? Honestly, JK13R, I don't trust the Necrophonic app. Um, I've been asked that a lot, but I like to use the Spirit Box or the PSP7. Um, just not to king on apps. Man, that thing is moving. Right now, I'm inside of a haunted ma uh, mausoleum. I'm inside of a haunted... Uh, I am inside of a haunted... museum with a lot of attached, spiritually attached and energy. Holy shit. But a lot of attached, uh, or, uh, Can you move? Can you move one of these curtains so I know you're here with me? <laughs> Le 
let me know if that's too loud. I have it like that because if I lowered it down, it's really tricky to mess with. That one looks like it's moving a lot. Be safe. I'm trying to be safe. What object are you attached to? That's a child's casket, yes. Christ. Too loud, right? Okay, let me lower down the, the tempo real quick. See how this works. It's like there's a sweet spot to this thing. Maybe this is a sweet spot here. I heard unicorn. Oh, that's a big move road over there. Hold on, guys, we're still messing with this thing. Can you get close to the K2? I'm so sorry if this is so loud. Is that a little bit better right there? Bismillah. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> I know which one you're talking about. Barbara. You got to go back where the dolls are. And let's go back to where the dolls are. Yes. <clears throat> go to the right corner. There's just creepy photos. And that's all. Put that right over here. If you touch me, I will. Oh, wow. I'm actually really far away from that thing. Can you move that K2 meter? Or make it light up? What is something you say to a child to make it do something? Um, uh, oh, that's going to sound creepy. I'm sure you guys would understand. Uh, I'll give you candy. Oh, I got an orange. Can you, can you bring it up higher? Head on. I'll give you more candy. This guy's freaking me out. Oh, buddy. Okay, sorry. Back. There we go. Maybe if you don't give too much attention to the doll, maybe she will move. 
Well, that I'm just right now. What I'm looking at is the the K2. That thing is really lighting up right now. Um, Franco threatened the doll. If you touch me, I swear. <laughs> I did not help. All right, I just gotta help. I didn't mean to threaten. I didn't threaten it. I, I, in my mind, I just imagined the doll attack, attacking me. Um, are you a male or female? Try, try not to yell, please. Can you make a knocking sound? Yes. Can you move the table? Um, well, I don't want to keep asking it, like demanding it to move things. Um, do, can, can you tell me your name? I'm new here. I haven't been here before. And I was wondering maybe if you could tell me something about this place. Are you still here? Yeah, it got super quiet. Hello? Thank you, Ashley. I know. It got, oh my God, it just said Frank. I'm right here. I'm just waiting for you. No, you don't, you're not supposed to do that. Can you tell me how many uh, are, of yous are here with me? Cause I don't know. I feel like I'm by myself. Is that true? You think you could tell me your name? I'm waiting. <laughs> Respectful. It, it said it really dimly. Who's really mad? Are you looking for someone or wanting help? Is there any way that I can help you?
You can just tell me, I'll help you. You looking for someone, mom or dad? All you have to do is ask. Was that you in the mirror? I'm trying, I'm trying. Was that you in the mirror? It was. I don't know if you guys heard it, but I said it really low. Frank, you need a receiver. Um, I think that was me. I think I touched something in the bottom. You want me to light this place? It got cold again. I just got like a really creepy cold spot. Go ahead. What do you want me to do? Turn on the lights? What's creepy is that I'm hearing noises, but I don't know if it's coming from the boo box or from outside. Are you talking outside the door? It is literally going right a lot in this room. I'm going to leave it on top of something else. Oh, God. All right. Or eight. Or eight. Or we're eight. Or I don't know. One of those two. You guys be the judge. Um, Frank, you missed a super chat. I'm so sorry if I'm missing super chats, guys. I don't mean to. Oh, what the hell? There's a, a bug in here. Okay, that was just a bug. Oh, I probably... I love your videos so much. Stay safe and always protect yourself from God. Greetings from Sweden. Ask the spirits to knock three times if you can hear you. And watch your back. Okay. Yeah, that K2 is, it's weird because it goes off and then it goes higher. Oh, that was really dark. Okay. Can you knock three times? I, I completely missed that. Wait, don't knock yet. Hold on. I love you. Um, can you knock three times if you can hear me? I got one knock. My hands are right here. Can you, well, the ceiling is tile, but can, can you knock in the ceiling? <laughs> Wait, don't knock it. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of observing with you. Eight, right? Eight, eight o'clock at the hanging clock. That's, oh, are you serious? That's five. That one's at six. Cause it did say eight. You're not kidding. Frank, 
Frank just or something. I'm not scared. I'm I'm nervous. I I have <laughs> not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. I'm not scared. I'm just I feel very anxious. I feel very tight, like if I'm a bit claustrophobic. But I'm not like freaking out scared where I'm about to run, because that would be if I was in a very enclosed area. Which I'm not yet. But I do got goosebumps and I have hair standing on my arms at times. Which is interesting. Did I say a bad word? I didn't say any bad words. Wait a second. Unless that's a reflection. Unless that is a reflection of something. Oh my god. I'm gonna come back over here because it's getting louder. Say, say, dude. Uh, start touching some items. I'm not supposed to touch anything. When you guys come here to visit, don't touch anything, okay? We want to keep these places preserved. Let's touch the doll right now. I'm on my way. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. Don't ever do that. That's not good. All right. Um, at this point, do you guys want to start exploring the rest of the school, or you want me to focus in these two rooms? I'm not touching anything. Hey, what's up, I Jones? What's going on, man? Sorry, I, I know you messaged me too, I Jones. I've just been busy. Touch, what's up, Franco? <laughs> Can I wish it was that easy. Here. We'll try it, just, just to say I did. And the spirit box got quiet. Um, Can you appear in front of me? I, get, I say that and I freak out a little bit. Here, I'm going to come back here so that way if it does appear, you guys can see it. All right. No. Let's go to the other room. All right. <laughs> I don't know what it just said there. It said, um, I don't know what it said there, actually. I forgot. <laughs> That's what it said. You need a spirit whistle. Explore, Frank. We're going to watch part two, but all right. So let's start exploring. Um, I'm going to take the K2. Should I bring the K2 with me? Well, let's see if it knocks through the hallways because apparently it will. I'm going to lower the volume down for now. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna keep the light on in here. Okay. No, I think they're scared of you. They wouldn't be scared of me. I haven't done anything. It won't work when you're alive. Don't go, like it said. Um. What is it? Don't round, turn off the light. <laughs> um, stomps feet. You can try the Ouija board. So, no, I don't do that. I don't mess with that one. Uh, let's turn off the lights. Okay, well, let's go for a little walk and see what this place has in store. You should see if you can do an overnight there. Um, I'll ask him and see what he would say. Bring the candy. <laughs> Hello, everyone. All right. God, this reminds me of the game Fear. I don't know if you guys played Fear. All right, now there's rooms that I could go into. He just says whatever door's locked, you can't go into. And there's certain areas around the school. That's the girls' room. We're not going in there. That would be crazy. I'll ask him. If you guys really like that, I'll, I'll see what he says. I 
I can't, I can't bring the boo box. To Andy. Yo soy de Peru. <laughs> Hola de Peru. Mike, right now I'm actually in a huge school, completely alone. I got permission from one of the guys here and uh, he gave me full access to explore this place. basement time. All right. Oh, that's a sewing machine. All right, I'll let you guys pick. Left or right? I can even go dark. Yeah, I did. I, I could go back. I was actually checking to make sure. Right, left, left. I got two lefts. And I'll beat the rights. We're going left. Look like claw marks. Like somebody went like that. Um, all right, so I already went left. Uh, go into the gymnasium or keep going down the hall. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh my God, the balloon. <laughs> that would be freaking terrifying. Um, hall, keep going. All right, let's keep going. I don't know if you guys ever played a game called PT. Let's see if I could go in here. Studio C. creepy lady standing in the, it's a discontinued game, but it is kind of still terrifying. Oh, okay, that's, uh, I get it. No exit. Okay, that's the outside patio. Excuses. Fatal Frame. Yeah, that game is the. I love Fatal Frame. I I want them to remake the first the Fatal Frame game, but the first person view uh, with Mario. This is 
to the office area. I don't think I can go in here. Yeah, it's locked. Janitor's closet, we don't want to go in there. Prom night. What's the history of the school? Well, this school is actually built on pretty much close to Indian burial territory. I think down the road is the world's biggest uh, Indian burial mound that you can find. And uh, yeah, it's the biggest Indian burial mound that you guys could actually, that's in the United States. And right next to that is, a, is the Virginia State Penitentiary. Uh, this school is just right next to it. So a lot of the creepy things tend to happen here and the school. That's the exit there. A fright night. All right. Um, this guy did tell me I could go to a Sam's baby shower. There's somebody down here with me. Can you give me a sign, knock on something? So I know I'm not alone. Um, all right, I'm gonna take a walk to the gymnasium and we'll go back upstairs. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the other room and see how it is. How's my battery life? Oh. It's starting to get low. Um, let's go in here. Pioneer Gymnasium. All right. Yeah, I have the heat too on me. stupid you must think that I'm a fool you must think that I'm used to this I, I do need a port I actually used up my whole charger that I had talk like Pennywise do it Georgie Georgie, you want your boat, Georgie? Come on, Georgie. Nobody wants to play with I can't do it. I, I, I want to make sure I know how to do it before I do it, because I'm going to sound, it's going to sound like a fail. <laughs> Nobody wants to right, Let me stop and see. I, I, accents kill me. Let's go upstairs. Let's go to the other room, if I could figure out which way it was, I think it's this way. I'm gonna close this door. Shower room. Did you really see one? All right. It seems you're not asking them. Um, Garden Grove, California, you may do Marco. I want to do Marco upstairs. Let's, let's go upstairs. I like it though. You guys have got to check this place out. If you guys are ever in town, bang door. Don't look. 
Hey, super chat, do I really? I, can't, I don't see the super chat. Oh, I do, I do, I do, I do. Be safe. Oh, thanks. Um, it's really lighting up. Oh, it's lighting up because this place has light. Marco. Marco. I just got something. Hello? Now, a lot of people ask me why I say hello. It's because sometimes you get a response back. And uh, that's actually what I'm trying to get as a response. I'm lost, can you help me? do want to use the connect don't lie to them all right um well i guess in a way i was a little bit lost downpour custom <clears throat> every kiss begins with k let's go into this one Probably gonna have this on here. Okay. Yeah, I know the exit signs are always that much more creepier. Hello? thinking.
Can, is my connection better? Can you guys let me know? I'm right here. I just got hello. Shout out to my wife's, I'm, Jesus. Shout out to Dennis's wife, Sally. I got you, I got you, Dennis. No, don't lose me. Can you guys see a little bit better? Picture is bad. All right, hold on. Um, affected. I'm not. I'm not. Well, I'm trying not to leave you guys. Hold on. I actually got something here for you guys. Let's see what I have here. I'm so sorry. I might have said a bad word there. Closing this door. New to your channel. I love it. Gonna subscribe. I'm hearing bangs, but I think those are cars outside. goodies here. Uh, All right. Now let's try this. Okay, you guys ready? I'm going to go ahead and turn off all the lights. Sorry, don't, don't, nobody have a seizure there. for you guys. So far, we're doing good, buddy. Frank is always true. All right. Can you move the doll? Can you stop doing that, please? I have to check my six now. All right, turn it off. All right, you guys are starting to get a little bit of lag here. Actually, there's a part of me that wants her to move. I can't see in front of me. Hold on. Okay. My battery's at 50%. All right. Yeah, she is really loud. I think if I lower it down, it's going to... Oh, shout out to the person who gave me this at the dam. That's actually an Indian... Uh, an Indian arrowhead. All right, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this live stream. Okay. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream. In fact, let's walk with me a little bit because I actually have to use the bathroom. There's one downstairs. It was awesome, dude. Thank you. I hope you guys liked it. 
Um, I'll see if I could talk to uh, Steve and see if you could, I guess one of these days, maybe I'll probably give it a, a little bit of a rest uh, for this. But I want to come back here and see if I could uh, do um, maybe an overnight. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll debate a bit. I, I want to, we'll see what happens. Because I don't know if I could stay here overnight. Because the thing is, there's other businesses here too, as well, that rent this place out. And for me to just rent it out and wake up. And you have to, there's also, <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot of businesses here. So I, it's going to look a little weird if I'm waking up early in the morning. But. The sudden urge to pee completely hit me. <laughs> I hope you guys like what you saw. I, I'm so happy I actually got this cool location. It's been a while since I've actually uh, been able to do a live. I kind of want to do my public live streams every month or monthly, but I want to make them special. I don't want them to be like, uh, you know, I always want to make it different. Uh, please leave it up so I can go back and see. Yes, I'm leaving this one completely up for you guys. And uh, yeah, <laughs> let me turn the slide off. My phone's literally about to die and I think it's incredibly rude if it dies and I don't really properly get to say goodbye to you guys. I, I kind of wanted to be here on a time limit too because I actually have to start heading to a different location after tonight. Um, <laughs> I got a couple locations. Good heads up for you guys. I actually have two big videos coming out. I told you I was gonna be busy this month. I do have the, I think if you guys watched my Instagram, Oh, okay, yeah, he's right outside. <laughs> Steven, you scared the hell out of me. <laughs> if you guys watched my, uh, if you guys watched my Instagram. You guys have fun? Oh my God, it was fun. Cool. Creepy as hell. Awesome. I didn't even want to be alone for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a little bit of it. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got two big videos coming out soon. One with the Hillview Manor and another hospital that you guys have got to see. And it's actually in Tennessee, which is another really awesome location. Chris, thank you, thank you so thank much you. for giving me the opportunity. Thank you, man. I'm trying to see if I could do one of the prisons here with Chris, but we'll see how that goes out. Thank you. you know? And Chris. Oh, Chris, am I saying Chris? I'm so sorry. Oh, I read a name. And there we go. Steven, Steve, Steve. <laughs> uh, I've been called Chris, so that's all right. You should have seen the comments. They were no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, they weren't that bad. But guys, be safe. Mom, I see you in there. Be safe, fun. You guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. And have a good night. Bye guys.